Good evening. Defense Secretary Gibot Yodoro says China should stop its invasion through harassment of the nation's vessels and building of structures in the West Philippine Sea. This comes after the Chinese embassy in Manila said tensions between the two countries should be properly resolved in dialogues and consultations, noting that the Philippines is adopting a, quote, confrontational attitude. In an ambush interview, Yodoro calls on China to cease their aggression towards Philippine vessels and the building of structures in the West Philippine Sea. Nagsasabi ang China mag-usap, fine. Pero itigil na rin nila ang paggagawa uh, ng structures sa West Philippine Sea, tsaka South China Sea, at tsaka sa pangigipit sa ating mga vessels. Teodoro also defends the Philippine Coast Guard spokesperson for the West Philippine Sea following the Chinese Coast Guard's water cannon attack on Philippine vessels in a Yungin show. PCG spokesperson for the West Philippine Sea, Jay Tariela, called Filipinos who defend China's aggressive behaviors traitors and unpatriotic. The top defense official, however, says he understands where Tariela is coming from. Ngayon, Binabatikos nila ang statement ng uh, Philippine Coast Guard. Ako naintindihan ko no? kung saan sila galing. Eh sila na sa front line, sila na bubugahan. De natural, gani, ganyan na ilalabas nila na statement. The Philippine Atmospheric, Geophysical and Astronomical Services Administration says 8 to 11 tropical cyclones will likely affect the country for the remainder of the year. According to Pag-asa Assistant Weather Services Chief Chris Perez, more tropical cyclones typically affect the country during the second half of the year. So in case you're wondering about the weather, the second half of every year, ito talaga yung marami sang basyo. On the average, yung speaks ng tropical cyclone activity or yung bagyo dito sa ating bansa ay it falls under the months of July, August, or even sometimes September. So, what are we, how many tropical cyclones are we expecting for the month of August? Two or three at least, and so far, wala ko po tayo na mamonitor uh, agang sa araw na ito. Uh, uh, first up na po tayo ng buwan ng August. And then uh, by September, two to three tropical cyclones. October, two to three tropical cyclones. November and December, one or two tropical cyclones. And then by January, none or at least one tropical cycle. Perez says the concentration of tropical cyclone activity mostly occurs over Luzon and Visayas from August to December. While tropical cyclone activity usually lessens during November to December, Perez says tropical cyclones that may form can also affect the northern part of Mindanao. He adds that the tropical cyclones that will affect the country towards the end of 2023 may or may not traverse directly over the country. Pwedeng tumawid ng kalupa na ating bansa? pwedeng pumilos ng malapit sa gilid ng ating bansa or pwede namang nasa loob lang ng ating air responsibility sa Pacific Ocean. Usually, the second half of every year, andyan po yung malalakas na bagya kumpara with the first half. The Manila-Cavite Toll Expressway or Cavitex will increase its toll starting Monday, August 21. The Toll Regulatory Board has approved an increase in tolls at the Paranaque Toll Plaza and the Kawit Toll Plaza. There will be a 2 peso increase in toll for Class 1 vehicles passing through the Paranaque Toll Plaza, while Class 2 vehicles will have to pay 3 pesos more than the current fee. For Class 3 vehicles, there will be a toll hike of 4 pesos. Meanwhile, the Kawit Toll Plaza will implement a 9 peso increase for Class 1 vehicles, a 17 peso increase for Class 2 vehicles, and a 25 peso increase for Class 3 vehicles. According to Cavitex Management, the toll hike will help maintain a safe and high-quality expressway for motorists and to complete ongoing expansion and improvement projects. The Bureau of Jail Management and Penology says former TV host Jay Sonza is currently detained for alleged staffa and syndicated and large-scale illegal re recruitment. In a message to Inquirer.net, BJMP spokesperson J-Rex Joseph Bustinera confirms that, he, that they received Sonza from the National Bureau of Investigation last August 3 and that government agents arrested him on August, July 18. 
Bustinera Sesonza was arrested for alleged estafa in syndicated and large-scale illegal recruitment. He adds that Sonza was transferred by NBI Manila to the Quezon City Jail Quarantine Facility in Payatas. NBA star James Harden says he will never play for the Philadelphia 76ers again, while Daryl Morey remains the team's general manager. During an event in China, Harden calls Morey a liar and says he could no longer be part of an organization that employed Morey. The statement comes with the 76ers and Harden locked in a contract standoff. Harden reportedly told the team last month that he wanted to be traded away from the franchise after joining from Brooklyn in February 2022. U.S. media reported on Saturday that the 76ers had shut down discussions with Harden over a trade and were expecting him to report to a training camp in September. Alamin naman natin ang mainit na balita sa mundo ng showbiz kasama si Anthrys Arceo ng Bandera. An? Hininga ng reaksyon ng mga miyembro ng entertainment media ang award-winning actress na sina Dean Lustre tungkol sa kanasasang kapangkaso ni Jeffrey O. Oh. Dating talent ng careless entertainment sina Dean na pinamumunuan ng Korean-American na si Jeffrey O oh at ng ex-boyfriend niyang si James Reed. Isa si Liza Soberano sa mga artist ngayon ng naturang talent management. Sa naganap na 2023 FAMAS Awards last Sunday, natanong ang dalaga kung ano ang masasabi niya sa pag-aresto at pagkakulong ng negosyante dahil umano sa pag operate ng business sa Pilipinas ng walang kaukulang dokumento. Aniya, ayaw na niya magsalita ukol sa issue lalo na't hindi naman siya involved. Kamakailan ay kinumpirma ng spokesperson ng Bureau of Immigration na si Dana Sandoval ang paghula sa CEO ng Careless noong July 28 Ngunit nakapagpiyansa na rin last August 4. Basa sa report ng Bureau of Immigration, kahit pa nakapag-bail si Jeffrey ay tuloy-tuloy pa rin ang deportation case laban sa kanya. Unang na blind item dito sa bandera si Jeffrey O ng ereklamo raw ng tatay ni James Reed dahil sa puhunan sa negosyo na hindi na naibalik. Kinumpirma naman ni Christopher Min sa kanyang online show ang balita at ipinalabas rin ang video na kuha noong aktwal itong inaresto. Ito po si Therese Arceo at yan ang Bandera Chica for today. Here's the latest roundup of today's top stories. Defense Secretary Gibot Yodoro calls on China to stop its invasion through harassment of Philippine vessels and building structures in the West Philippine Sea. Senator Cheese Escudero seeks 100 million pesos in next year's budget to fund the construction of permanent structures in Ayumin Shoal. And national government's outstanding debts seen to balloon further to 15.8 trillion pesos by end of 2024. And these are the stories you need to know today. I'm Neil Mercado. Follow Inquirer.net on Facebook, Twitter, YouTube, TikTok, Instagram, and Reddit. For more stories, visit Inquirer.net. Good evening.